Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today's my lecture is about introduction of reproductive system. Reproductive system is different from all other system of our body that it makes almost no contribution to homeostasis. An individual can survive without reproductive system but without reproductive system there can be no next generation. Reproductive system ensure the contribution of species. Modern genetics and experimental embryology make it clear that in most species of mammals the multiple difference between male and female depends primarily on a single chromosome which is y chromosome and a single pair of endocrine structure namely testes in case of male and ovaries in case of female sex termination refers to genotype of fetus whether male or female so it means how the genetic sex pattern are made it occurs during the fertilization of ovum there are 46 chromosome in case of male 22 pairs of autosome and an x chromosome and a y chromosome in case of female 22 pair of autosome and two x chromosomes individual chromosomes are usually arranged in an arbitrary pattern and identified by a number 1 to 22 on the basis of their morphological characteristics. This figure taken from the book which is written by Ganon. Sex is determined genetically by two chromosomes called X chromosome to distinguish them from somatic chromosome. This pair is composed of one X chromosome which is called female chromosome and Y chromosome which is called male chromosome. Y chromosome is necessary and sufficient for production of testis and testis determining gene which is called SRY which means sex determining region of Y chromosome. This SRY is a DNA binding regulatory protein which is located near the tip of short term of human Y chromosome. It bends the DNA and acts as a transcription factor that initiates transcription of cascade of genes necessary for testicular differentiation, including genes for Mullerian inhibiting substance, which is called MIS. As a consequence of meiosis during gametogenesis, each normal ovum contains X chromosome and half of the normal sperm contain an X chromosome and half contain Y chromosome. When a sperm containing a Y chromosome fertilizes an ovum, an XY pattern results and zygotes develops into genetic male. When fertilization occurs with an X containing sperm, an XX pattern and a genetic female is result. What is sex differentiation? Which means the development of gonads, accessory sex organs, and psychological aspect of sex. The differentiation of primitive gonads into testes or ovaries in utero is genetically determined is human. But the formation of male genitalia depends on the presence of functional secreting testes and in absence of testicular tissue developments of female. Until 7th week of gestation, internal genitalia have rudiments of both male internal genitalia and female internal genitalia. A genetically male fetus with functional testes secret antimularian hormones from sartori cell in testes. It causes regression of Mullerian duct and differentiation of leading cells in testes. Leading cells then produce testosterone, which stimulate Wolfian duct development into male internal genitalia, that is, epididymis, vas deferens, seminal fascicle, etc. Female fetal development is genetically determined and occur in absence of testosterone and antimolarian hormone. Without testosterone, there is regression of Wolfian ducts and formation of primordial follicles that produce estrogen. 
the absence of antimonarian hormone allows molarian duct to differentiate and forming female internal genitalia that is fallopian tubes uterus cervix and upper one third of vagina so the sex determining features are in case of male development of testes penis prostate seminal vesicle etc in case of female development of ovary uterus etc evidence indicates that male sexual behavior and male pattern of gonadotropin secretion are due to the actions of male hormone on the brain in early development after birth the gonads remain quiescent until adolescence when they are activated by gonadotropin from anterior pituitary gland hormones secreted by the gonads at this time causes the appearance of features typical of adult male or female and onset of sexual cycle in case of female in human females ovarian function regresses after a number of years and sexual cycle ceases which is called menopause in case of male gonadal function slowly decline with advancing age but the ability to produce viable gametes is persist in both sex the gonad have dual function the production of germ cell which is called gametogenesis and secretion of sex hormone the androgens are steroid hormones that are masculinizing in action and the estrogens are those that are feminine in action both type of hormones are normally secreted in both sex the ovaries secrete large amount of estrogen and small amount of androgens a pattern that is reversed in case of male androgens are secreted from adrenal cortex in both sex and some of the androgens are converted to estrogen in fat and other extra gonadal and extra adrenal tissues the ovaries also secret progesterone a steroid that has special functions in preparing the uterus for pregnancy particularly during pregnancy the ovaries secret the polypeptide hormone relaxin which loses the ligaments of the pubic symphysis and softens the cervix facilitating the delivery of fetus in both sex the gonads secret other peptides including inhibin b which is a polypeptide that inhibits the follicular stimulating hormone secretion the secretory and gametogenic functions of gonad are both dependent on the secretion of anterior pituitary gonadotropin that is follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone the sex hormone and inhibin b feedback to inhibit gonadotropin secretion in male the gonadotropin secretion is non cyclic but in post pubertal female and orderly sequential secretion of gonadotropin is necessary for the occurrence of menstruation pregnancy and lactation so the reproductive system of both male and female consists primary organs and secondary organs primary organs are referred to as gonads in case of female these are ovaries in case of male these are testes the primary functions of gonad are secretion of hormones and production of gametes secondary organs are responsible for transporting and nourishing the ovum and sperm as well as preserving and protecting the fertilized eggs then puberty it is the period when endocrine and gametogenic functions of gonad have first developed to the point when reproduction is possible this also means the onset of adult sexual life it is the stage of life when reproductive system matures and become functional that is at the time of puberty is variable in european and united states it has been declined at the rate of 1 to 3 months per decade for more than 175 years in united states in recent years puberty generally occurs between the age of 8 13 years in case of girls and in case of boys this is 
9 to 14 years. A burst of testosterone secretions occur in case of male fetus before birth. In neonatal period, there is another burst which is unknown functions, but thereafter the leading cells become poisons. There follows in all mammals a period in which the gonads of both sexes are poisons until they are activated by gonadotropin from the pituitary to bring about the final maturation of reproductive system. This final period of final maturation is known as adolescence. These two figures, first one taken from the book of Canon, second one from the Kaiton. There is plasma testosterone level at various ages in human male. So the characteristics of puberty is of female that are thalarchy, puberty, menarchy and adenarchy. The initial menstrual period are generally anovulatory and regular ovulation appear about one year later. Till puberty, sex hormone that is anterior pituitary gonadotropin and hypothalamic gonadotropin releasing hormone secretion are low. At puberty, the secretion of all these hormones are increases and pulsatile secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone brings on puberty. During the period from birth to puberty, a neural mechanism is operating to prevent the normal pulsatile release of gonadotropin releasing hormone, but this mechanism is unknown. However, one or more genes produce product that stimulates secretions of gonadotropin releasing hormone and inhibition of these genes before puberty is an interesting possibility. It is now believed that the onset of puberty is initiated by some maturation process that occur elsewhere in the brain, perhaps somewhere in limbic system. Gonadotropin releasing hormone causes upregulation of gonadotropin releasing hormone receptors in anterior pituitary and pulsatile release of glutenizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone. Increased secretion of luteinizing hormone stimulate the production of male sex hormone testosterone and dehydrotestosterone and female sex hormone estrogen that are, that are responsible for secondary changes in males and females at puberty. What is delayed puberty or absent puberty? The normal variation in the age at which adolescence changes occur is so wide that puberty cannot be considered to be pathologically delayed until the menarche has failed to occur at the age of 17 or testicular development at the age of 20. Failure of maturation due to panhypopituitarism is associated with trophinium and evidence of other androgen abnormalities. Patients with X0 chromosomal pattern and gonadal degenesis is also dropped. In some individual, puberty is delayed even though the gonads are present and other androgen functions are normal. In men, this clinical picture is called eunocodism. In female, it is called primary amenorrhea. What is sexual precocity? Early development of secondary sexual characteristics without gametogenesis is caused by abnormal exposure of immature males to androgens and females to estrogen. This syndrome should be called precocious pseudopuberty to distinguish it from true precocious puberty due to an early but otherwise normal pubertal pattern of neurotropic secretion from the pituitary. Constitutional precocious puberty that is the precocious puberty in which no cause can be determined is more common in case of girls than boys. In both sex, tumor or infections involving the hypothalamus causes precocious puberty. Precocious puberty was the most common endocrine symptoms of hypothalamic disease. Thank you for your patience hearing.